Greetings and welcome back to Even the Ocean. I'm in a weird place and I was trying to go back. What happened is I started to record the next episode and I forgot to switch my recording software to the right window. So all of that is lost, unfortunately. Um, we are in the starfish. What I did is I was going to go back and show you, but it's not letting me go up through this one gate over here. So I'm going to have to finish where I was. Uh, basically, we did find... Um, those little thingies that the starfish wanted. Let's go and see them. They are called clara seeds. Um, they're from the clara lily plant and we can help the starfish with those. Okay, so basically I went and I'll show you where I got those, um, but unfortunately I'm I'm basically in one of the starfish arms where I, um, I'm trying to repair the, the power plant. So I will show you, I've already gone through most of this area, but I'll show you how I did that just in case you're interested and this is the easy way just to get this gate fixed and obviously it's already there and then here there's actually a, um, a, a lift so this map is part of the power plant let's see if it is going to give us the text here I can use this to finish fixing the power plant but first I'll need to fix all the receptors and so all of these dots were red except for the the one at the top which is the one we just passed through um, Someone was asking me why I called the exclamation mark a znak, and the reason for that is uh, znak is a Russian word, which means um, a punctuation mark, essentially. So um, the, the full name is Vasklisatilny znak, and so I just called it a znak for short. But yeah, that's where that word comes from, if you're interested. So here we are with in this other place, and we pick up the thingy here and just plop it right in there. There's a lot of timing involved in this level, which is kind of cool, but it's definitely not, oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, here's where you pick up this guy. There we are, and you shove it in right there. Easy, easy peasy, okay. We now evened out our ocean of power. I'm thinking that's probably where the name of the game comes from. Okay, so that's those two done, which of course were already done, but I'm just, yeah. I'm sorry that it didn't work, didn't finish recording. So this one is a funny one. There we go, and there it goes. So this other section, I had a hell of a time. I admit, I had to ask for help. I could not figure out how to get out of this room. Um, because it's very tricky. Oh no, whoops. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh, okay. And that one goes there. This is a one-way gate, by the way. You try to go that way, it doesn't work. So, um, I tried everything. I tried jumping, and these are icy, glassy walls, and you cannot get out. And I tried getting, you know, uber height, uber long jump by changing our, our energy levels but nothing worked. Um, oh, whoops, I picked the wrong one. There we are, now we're evened out. But the secret is this, boom. Whoops, didn't work that time, but there we are. You put your shield downwards and jump, oh, on top of the geyser from here. There we are, and there it goes. So that confounded me for a bit, I have to admit, but that's okay, there's nothing wrong in asking for help, it's all good. Okay, just gotta adjust some settings first. Oh yes, we're in one of these mirror mazes again. The ground is this one, so let's change that that way. There we go. Finally, now just to input some commands. Hello, Whiteforge? Aleph, I'm getting reports that energy levels are coming back online. At, Res at Restview Beach, <laughs> truly excellent work. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We'll talk details when you get back. Have a safe trip. Okay, bye. Well, that's that. I'd better head back to Whiteforge. Oh, it's not gonna, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, having finished her repairs, Aleph made her way out of the power plant, setting out on her return to Whiteforge City. Okay, that's unfortunate. Can I go back in at all? I should really get back to the city before doing anything else. Okay, shoot. Well, the place where you find those things for the, the starfish um, is right where we were last time at that save point. You go to the, the right hand side and go up and there's like a little cave where you can grab them. Okay, let's go to Whiteforge City. 
here we are in this beautiful city surrounded by sort of slummy neighborhoods. Very funky. Ooh, here's our man. Welcome back, Aleph. What incredible work. You are an inspiration to us all. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Now, of course, you succeeded in turning power back on at Restview Beach. How about your secondary mission? Did you find out anything about what caused the malfunction in the first place? Well, there were a few odd things that I noticed. There were these clumps of stuff. It's hard to explain. It looked kind of like animal carcasses, but not made of flesh and bone. I also, well, it sounds unbelievable, but I heard about sightings of a giant creature approaching the plant. I don't know what to make of it. I didn't see any of these giants myself, though. Hmm. Dr. Wadsnick. Of course, sir. What is it? Oh, just assigning my top scientist to look into these very strange reports. Very good work for it, of course, Aleph. Good eye. Ah, Aleph, take this. It's a vial for preserving tissue samples. If you run across any more of these carcasses, retrieve a representative tissue sample. And try not to contaminate it too much. Or at all. All right, will do. Now I'd like to tell you to take the rest of the week off, but unfortunately we have a bit of a situation. The other technicians are having some travel issues en route to the other two power plants. Apparently, they've been running into blocked roads and sinkholes left and right. Between you and me, I think these two might not be as hardworking and persistent as you are, Aleph. Those kinds of people, they often aren't re raised with a culture of expectation in the home, you know? But anyone can make it. You're living proof of that, Aleph. Anyway, I'm going to have to ask you to head out tomorrow and help out either Lopez at Boreas Heights or Paxton at Dream Dram Canyon. Hopefully you'll be able to meet up with them at the plant and work on fixing it together. With any luck, some of your work ethic might rub off on them, eh? Ha ha ha. Okay, well, go and get some rest. And be sure to check in when you get there tomorrow, alright? Okay, sure. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Alright. Alrighty, so let's go... Can we go to the history wing yet? Can't go in. Still renovations. Okay. Let's leave. And we'll go to the train. Nope, nope, nope. There we are. I want to go to... Can we go to the art museum? Ah, the Art Institute of Whiteforge. Whiteforge's biggest museum and a college, too. Let's look around. It looks pretty quiet today. There's a ticket counter over there, and there's a main entrance to the normal galleries and a closed-off room that's undergoing renovations for an upcoming exhibition. Okay. Let's uh, go on a tour. Aleph waited for the tour to start. Hi, um, are you here for the tour? Yeah, is it starting soon? Yeah, it's supposed to, but it's actually museum policy that I can't give the tour unless there are at least five guests. Oh, so is the tour canceled? Yes, I'm really sorry. I have to, that's just policy. The museum, it's, well, we're busy getting ready for an upcoming exhibition and, ah, uh, don't worry, it's fine. I'm fine touring around myself. I'm pretty sure, th I'm sure things can get pretty busy here. Okay, great, thanks. I know it's such a shame, but feel free to come back once the exhibition opens. I'll be happy to give you a tour of it. Or come back another time for a general tour. So are you a tour guide here? Just filling in for a few weeks. I'm actually the curator for the exhibition, and other than that, I do research on art from the construction period of the Apex District. Oh, that sounds fascinating. I actually don't know much about art at all. I work as a technician for the power plants myself. Heh. <laughs> a technician? Cool! You should definitely stop by in for a few weeks when the new exhibition opens up. I think it might be interesting to you since it deals in part with the construction of the Apex District. Oh, okay. I'll be sure to come by. Good luck with everything. Later. Okay. Should we people watch? Might as well while we're here. Oh, did I tell you? I found out today. Bradley, five years ago, he faked the PhD on his business cards. Someone else. What? Really? You know, that doesn't surprise me. Man, that guy's got managerial issues. Every intern he has quits. I don't... 
get why he's still here. Me neither. Alrighty, I think it's time to leave. Let's go. We should go to the Windsweep patio. Might as well explore that as well. Oh, there are people here. Hey, guy in a, in a black suit. Stave. No, Stanley. Stan, Stanley, I told you. 20 reams of the 60 pound recycled brine salmon. Got it? And don't forget the gloss cover and cream cheese. We need those reports looking not only spick and span, not only spick, but also span for the quarterly. Okay, how about you? Ronald, just a minute, just a minute. There we are. Now, hey, scram, you rotten pest, foul creature. Oh, no, no, not you. I'm talking about those pesky ragbirds. Those brown birds? Those greedy ragbirds are stuffing their smug little faces with snowlit feed. Organic imported clara lily seed, to be precise, specially formulated for the discerning snowlet. It's a crime, I tell you, to see those ragbirds shovel it down like cheap sorghum. Now hold on a minute. I'd wager you could help making things right. What do you mean? You can scare the thieving ragbirds away by jumping at the feeders when they come to roost. Make sure not to frighten any of my darling snowlets, though. If you do well over a short period of time, there may be a sweet treat in it for you. What do you say? Uh, I'll say yes. Why not? Remember, scare the ragbirds by jumping, but leave the snowlets alone. That looks like a snowlet. The white ones look like snowlets. Go away. It's a little mini game. Kind of cute. Okay, I think that should do it. Come over here. Ah, justice at last. Oh, what a relief to see those vile scavengers on the run. Here, take this red berry oozer for your trouble. Sure, thanks. Wow, this is really sweet. How can kids eat these? Up the wall, I tell you. Those smirking ragbirds are driving me up the wall. Are you here to help scare them away? Um, we'll say now. Where do you buy candy? Let's find that out. I don't know where they come from. On my 65th birthday, I received a tureen filled with these candies and a note that said, for young'uns. I've been handing them out ever since. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that young. <laughs> so here it, uh, we have this empty vial. That's um, from the other stuff. Okay, so anything else this guy has to say? No, okay. It's the same stuff. Is there anything at the end of this? Please. Nope. Okay. Let's go out then. Let's go to, I think we go to the city entrance. And then from there, I wanna go to the whatchamacallit, lower transit area. Yes, and I wanna see, we need to train for um, our thing. What is Murex Park again? I forgot already. Oh, this is where I live. Okay, that's right. Let's go to, the uh, junkyard? I think it's the junkyard. Yep. All right. Let's train. Uh, we'll do the to the. Should we do the dream dram course? Yeah, let's do that one. Greetings, person. This is Trunks. Ah, so there are bubble generators and bubble switches. Carry a bubble from the generator to the switch, which is hooked up to the door, and, um, it's like a sap pad, of course. When you, uh, well, just do it. Oh my god. Oh! Okay, interesting. What do you have to say? If you've got a bubble, you can charge right through gas and lasers and stuff of the same color. It can't touch you. What a thrill! I hate to break it to you, though. Some party-pooping objects like pods pass through your bubble shield, so watch out. Okay. Cool. All right. Here's another person. This is Dahlia. Oh, hi, Ms. Aleph. You should know that a bubble will pop if it hits anything of the opposite color. Sometimes when you're bringing a bubble to a switch, you might have to step delicately around some obstacles. Don't worry if you pop one and need to go back though, though you won't run out of bubbles. Nice. Okay, now 
was easy enough. Ah, yes, and it's pollen. Points at Aleph, and then it's stuffed animal. Okay, I have to rescue the stuffed animal again. <laughs> oh, this time it's a little cow. Animal. All right. Oh, want me to get that? Yes. Okay, let's get a bubble. That was easy enough. Here we go. Hmm, there's a name tag. It says Stakey the Cow. <laughs> Must be pollens. Guess I'm done here then. That pollen loves to name her, her animals after, um, uh, whatchamacallums, uh, food. I feel bad for them. Okay, I think, let's go to the library. I don't know if we've been there yet. Oh, I don't think so. It's the local library. Let's talk to the librarian. Hi, um, I was wondering if you have any recommendations here. Recommendations? Yeah. Let's see. Do you like, uh, history books? Uh, maybe. Depends. I don't dislike history. <laughs> well, I've just purchased a few extra copies of travel guides of the famous power plants and the environments around them. It's kind of popular right now, so if it sounds interesting to you, I'd go pick up a copy right now. Really? Why is it so popular? Well, the word is, there have been some uh, freak accidents at some of the power plants near Whiteforge. And you know, naturally, such a topic is now popular. Even I've been digging around at times. Uh, okay. Pollution, huge explosions, deaths by... I know, I know, it's bad. Right. So I figured that people would want to know about these places. Because when a da disaster strikes so-and-so town, everyone wants to know about so-and-so so town. You know, kids, adults, conspiracies, conspiracy theorists, it's straining the budget a bit, but hey, people like them. Good for library ta traffic. I wonder if I should go set off some disaster myself. No, I don't think you should. I don't know if that's a good idea, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah. Anyways, if you're interested, it's in the new releases section. All right, thanks. Okay, so let's look at the books. It's those travel guides. Which one should I read? Let's read Restview Beach. Restview Beach. This power plant is located near the Restview Beach Resort. Originally, the area was known for being a popular fishing village. After enough time, researchers noticed that the area had the ideal conditions for a new power plant. A few years after the construction, thanks to the new source of light energy, the Restview Beach Association formed and quickly set aside funds for the construction of the Restview Beach Resort, a resort which at one point brought in the most visitors yearly out of any other beach resort. Over the years, though, the resort waned in popularity and its various facilities have fallen into disrepair. Still, guided tours of the outskirts of the hydro power plant are offered to res resort goers on a bi-weekly basis. Reservations should be made at least a month in advance. Though it's looking forward to better days, Restview Beach is still one place businesses and families alike can look to travel to without breaking the bank. Okay, cool. So let's leave. We have seen, we have conquered, we have done stuff. Let's go to uh, Murex Park. I want to see if there's... This is Yara's house. I guess we can't go in. Oh! Aleph, you're back! Hello, Yara. Yeah, everything went okay. Aleph, I know what happened to Cassidy was a freak accident, but I couldn't help myself from being really worried about you going out into the field again. I couldn't shake the feeling that something would go terribly wrong. I don't want to put too much weird pressure on you, but I'm really glad I was wrong. I'm really glad you're safe. Anyway, one of these days, I'm going to stop just monologuing at you. <laughs> no, it's okay, really. It's good to hear a sincere voice. I don't know anyone very well here in Whiteforge. <laughs> okay. Hey, want to eat dinner at my place? Sure. I hope you like muffins. Muffins are the only food I know how to make. <laughs> I love muffins. We can have meat muffins for dinner and jam muffins for dessert. <laughs> Oh, the weirdness of it. Oh my god. I spent the evening with Yara, and it was the least alone I had felt in a long time. We didn't talk a lot. Things are still kind of weird between us. Cassidy must be on her mind a lot, but I can tell she doesn't blame me for what happened and the fact that we can sit together and just keep each other company. It feels really special. A new day. Time to head off to a new plant. 
I'm up a bit early. I think I'll stop by the library. I should be able to get there via the ground line. Okay, so let's leave. And I think we'll have to get to the library in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Skye. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next time in the library.